Alrighty, so I am just doing the stereo today. Just thought I'd show you. That is the old speaker. Not much to it. Not much power out of it either. So we're gonna get rid of these and put some rockin' speakers in. This thing's gonna be cranking because I've got a sweet subwoofer. Ready to go, so it's gonna be a little bit wild. Yeah, basically it's doors off, new speakers in, and then it is new head unit, amplifiers, and uh, we'll have some sick doof doof. Well, this morning, uh, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of progress on Jamie's 200, considering I probably haven't shown enough. So, what I have been doing is pretty much fit off now. So the pre-wire has been done, and I am just starting to throw components at the vehicle. Head unit, speakers indoors, all that type of stuff, I've done that. UHF, self I unit, all that kind of stuff, Tow Pro, all the things that are basically, you know, mounted up under the dash or in the in the front near the dash somewhere talking about dashes the dash cam did go on as well in place anyway so all that's kind of been wired i'll show you a little bit whilst i've got you here as you can see i've just got all my plugs ready to go for the head deck so it's literally just ready to get plugged in our uhf pass through switch is already ready to go and i've got the wiring all run for the cell fire unit which is going to go under the seat there. I have now started to wire up the rear. Fuse box going. Today, do the setup in the drawers. So that means battery charger and battery and all that type of stuff. It's going to go into here. We're going to fit all that out, which will be lovely. There you go. That's the rear camera for the dash cam setup. And I am going to be running a core light up there as well, so. That'll be cool as well. So that's what is going to happen on the 200 today. That is not what I wanted to do. <sighs> now when you um, wish you thought of something before you went and did something else. And then you're like, ooh, yep, I'm gonna pay for that with the most annoying job in the world. That's where I am right now. So I made a decision to do something and then I'm regretting my decision. <laughs> but I'm fixing it. I'll be back in a second. Push pause. Time to put the bar on the car.
loosely fit the cross brace. Why? Friend, just read the instructions and do what they say. Stop arguing with ARB. I'm not going to do that. Oh, hang on. You know why? <laughs> because yeah, that's know. what the instructions say to do. That's very true. <gasps> well, that's fine. I didn't know that, Ryan. Well, you just stop. S uh, tell you what. What are you going to tell me, Brett? I'm going to tell you what. Well, <laughs> tell it to me. Oh, Ryan. You know that thing that's dangling in the middle of the car? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna go away. Well, the instructions didn't say to take it out. Well, they lied to you. Your bolt that's holding it can have a 12 mil something. Amy, that's your job. Need a 12 On mil that socket chair. with an extension bar. Is there a 12 mil socket? Thank you. Sorry, it's 14 mil. There should be a 14 there. Oh. So the crappy thing about being an auto electrician, which Brent always hates, is that you can spend weeks and weeks and weeks underneath the bonnet, underneath the trims of a car, and it doesn't look any different. So Brent spent a week and a half wiring this, and it didn't look any different. But now, in about three days, the aesthetic of a car is looking massively different. But he's spent twice as long in the stuff you don't see. But the stuff that you don't see is, let's be honest, way more important. It all makes it work. I'll show you the stuff that looks different now. So I'm gonna flip you around. And so Brent, Brent. What? Just telling the people. Yes. That you get frustrated because you spend twice as long on the stuff you don't see. <laughs> but everyone yes. gets excited over a bull bar. That is correct. So, that's why I hate wiring. Even though that's You're my awesome chosen it. profession. It's one of those things where all this makes it all work, but no one wants to see it. And to do that, that takes a lot of time and effort. And planning, um, right? And planning, basically, exactly that. Because once you've put stuff like this back on, you, you ain't getting back in there. Because that's in the way, and then that's in the way, and then all these other things are in the way. So you got to make sure you've got everything you need before you go and do that, otherwise, you're gonna have wires running over your rooftop because you won't be able to get them in anywhere. That's a little bit overkill, but hey. He gets frustrated. Mm -hmm. So, um. Spend all this time doing all this work. No this is. <laughs> Kate Marbar's going on. Exhaust is yet to go on. Drawers looking awesome. Thanks, Ron, and the guys at the Department of Interior. This is a lithium. This is a lithium battery. BCDC amp. That's a battery guard. We didn't want to talk about wiring, we wanted to look at fancy oh, stuff. Cool um, cool stuff. <laughs> Can I go barrier? I'm just making cool stuff. Cool stuff. Bar work, winch, lights, cell phone, UHF, side rails going on, snorkel, roof rack, which is over here. So Brent's already pre wired this. There's still more to go. So that's what's been going on this week. Today on the 200 build, we are going to be doing a torque exhaust with a Brown Davis fuel tank and then the Kmar rear bar setup is going to go on. We're going to pull the exhaust out first because the tank can't come out until that's done. Then we'll do the tank setup out, in, and then um, we're going to put the exhaust back on, which will give it a nice note from Torquet, and then it is Kmar bar time. Let's get it done. 